Hello and welcome to the video Spring Bean Annotation Examples with me Nam Ha Ming from Code Javaronet. You know, Bean is a very commonly used annotation in Supreme Framework and in this video I'd love to share with you what is this uh, Bean annotation used for with some code examples. And you know, Bean is a method level annotation, which means that it can be used uh, for methods only. And the Bean annotation indicates that the annotated method produced a Bean to be managed by the Spring's IOC inversion of control container. And a Bean is simply a managed Java object. And Spring Beans can be used by other objects via dependency injection. And uh, typically, bean methods are declared in the configuration class. Let me show you some code examples in a Java Spring Maven project. Yeah, in this project, I have the full class and bar class, full class with the method do full stuff. And I want to declare a bin of type foo. So I declare a bin in this app config class, which is a configuration class. So I declare method annotated with a bin annotation. And it returns foo of the object. My bin is the method name, for example and simply return a new full object so you see this is a very simple uh, example of using bin annotation to annotate it, to annotate a method that produced a bin in this example it uh, produced a bin of type full okay and then uh, other objects other components in this application can be used uh, this bin by a dependency injection uh, suggest in this service class full service via auto wire annotation like this auto wire full full and in the business method call full do full stuff here you see and for testing purpose uh, demo purpose I have updated the main class here, implements the application context aware, so I can use the application context object. Uh, so from the application context objects, we can get uh, a bin uh, that is uh, managed by Spring IOC container like this. Context get bin and specify the bin name in this case the bin name is the method name in the configuration class my bin here my bin full bin full bin equal full bin sorry full okay and then we call Full bin do full stuff. Okay, so this code uh, means that I read a bin from the application context or from the Spring IOC container with the name my bin and cast the object to type full and then call its method to full stuff. And now I run this uh, class run as uh, Spring Boot application. And you can see upon startup it uh, receives the bin of typhoon and calls the method do full stuff. So we see the message I'm doing full stuff in the console here. And similarly, uh, we can declare the second bin of another type, type bar here with the method do bar stuff. So we do similar in the configuration class using the bin annotation. Bar. 
Vespa. Vespa is a method name. And return new bar object. And here we can also retrieve a bar object bar from the context get bin. And now the name is bar. And then we call the method do bar stuff. And I'll run the application again to test. You see, it brings. I'm doing full stops and I'm doing bar stops. And you know, the bin annotation has some optional elements or parameters. The first one is auto while candidate, which is a boolean value indicates that the bin can be auto while or not the default value is true let me show you an example of using that uh, optional element of the bin annotation here in the configuration class in the declaration of the my bin here we specify the attribute the optional element auto while candidate equal false then it cannot be auto y in the full service class here this code uh, won't work let me start the application and you will see here we see we got the error the field full in the full service require a bit of time that could not be found so that is the meaning of the auto y candidate attribute if i specify true here then it is eligible to be uh, uh, re referenced in another object here if i start the application again it uh, will work you see and the second optional element is this choice method it is a string uh, specifies optional name of a method to call on the bin instance upon closing the application context the default name is closed or shut down let me show you an example for that optional element so in this uh, declaration of the bar bin here i spec specify the attribute this choice method is uh, closed bar for example and then in the bar class i implement that method close bar closing okay okay and run the separate boot application to test Okay, you see it prints. I'm doing full stops. I'm doing bar stops, and now I stop the application, which also stops the application context. Then you see the message bar closing. That means the method uh, name closed bar here got invoked uh, upon the uh, ap application uh, context. Uh, this chart you see and the next option uh, element of the bin annotation is init method it is a string uh, specifies optional name of a method to call on the bin instance during initialization the default value is an empty string uh, indicating no method to be called now let me show you an example here in the declaration of the bar bin, I also specify the name of the init method, which is uh, open bar. Okay, and update the bar class. Implement that method, open bar. Bar opening. Okay and start the application
and if she is just open bar method is uh, init uh, method it got invoked upon the initialization of the bin so when the application starts uh, we see the message bar opening here yeah. and if i uh, stop the application we also see the message bar closing that means the init method and each choice method uh, got invoked you see and the last optional element of the bin annotation is name that is an array of string uh, specifies one or more names for the bin if left unspecified the name of the bin is the name of the annotated method if specified the method name is ignored let me show you an example so by default the name of this bin is my bin the name of this bin is bar now i specify the name if uh, i don't have uh, as a optional elements then the name i can spe specify an array of string for uh, multiple names for this uh, bin for example my bin full bin full so this bin has three different names my bin full bin and full so in this code i can get the name using the bin full all right and also if uh, the bin annotation has other optional elements there we must specify the name attribute here equal to an array an array of, of string like this here i specify the name is bar bin bar my bar for example you see so let me update this code i call the bin name my bar yeah and full yeah okay and run the application and it uh, will work you see it prints bar opening i'm doing full stops i'm doing bar stops and if if i close you see bar closing all right so far i have shared with you some code examples that help you understand how to use the bin annotation in supreme framework i hope you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching